What's up guys, Rob from ClicksGeek, and I want to change up the pace today and make a video about landing page design and um, how to create high converting landing pages. So we pretty much build all of our landing pages for mobile traffic. Desktop, um, desktop's a little bit harder to dial in. Mobile, we can usually dial in within the first seven days, five to seven days running a campaign, and we can get conversion rates of 25% or higher. And uh, I'm gonna walk you through a page and what it looks like to um, get conversion rates like that. So before I do that, um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and check out the links in the description. We have all kinds of stuff in there, free courses, uh, free book from Seven Figure Agency, Josh uh, Nelson's book, it's great, really cool stuff, and a um, bunch of other training videos and playlists and cool stuff. All right, so make sure you check that out after the video. Now, we're looking at my Instapage account, which is our landing page software that we use to build all of our landing pages. I have a couple different example pages here, and if you've watched my videos, you've seen me go through pretty much all of these under the landing page playlist on my channel. So today we're going to go through plumbing example page two, and we're going to go into it and kind of uh, just kind of kind of walk you through it. So let me move this over if it lets me. All right, there we go. Okay. So up here you have your logo, you have your main picture, which is um, usually a picture of the, the van or a guy out on the site doing work, something like that. It, the most important thing when you're doing a picture in your header like this is to make sure it's authentic. Don't use a Shutterstock generic wrench turning a pipe thing or if you can. I mean, try not to do that. You're going to get better results if you have an authentic picture here of like the company van or one of your guys or... Uh, your client's guys out on, on site doing a fixing a job, doing something. Then we have our main call to action, have a plumbing issue. So we're calling out the reason why they're even on this page in the first place right away. Have a plumbing issue. Our text can be on site this week. Now, this week is a good one, but if you can say the same day, if you can actually have a tech out in like an hour, 60 minutes, that's a much, much more powerful hook. And you'll get higher conversion rate with that, but obviously you have to be able to fulfill that. So if you can do that, I would switch to that. Our text can be on, on site uh, today, or our text can be on site in 60 minutes. Then you do local city name, so whatever city you're targeting, you put that under the subheadline. So let's say it's uh, Philadelphia, local Philadelphia plumbers. We can help with drains, pipes, water heaters, et cetera, et cetera, add all of your stuff that you can do there. And then we do a click the call button here. Now remember, these pages are mostly designed for mobile. All right, so we're, we're going to be hammering this page with mobile traffic, not so much desktop at all, so that doesn't really matter if it's a click to call. So we're going to click the call button, and then we're going to have a get a free estimate button, which will go into a pop-up. And obviously, you want to be more creative with your pop-up, but you want name, email, phone, and then I would do something like, excuse me, allergies, uh, type of um, plumbing service you need, and then have it listed out checkboxes for if it's like drain cleaning, uh, busted pipe, water heater, whatever. So I do your main headline here, get plumbing help now, and then maybe a subheadline that says for immediate help, call, and then put a phone number. That's usually more powerful. Remember, guys, when you're building landing pages, you really want phone calls. You don't really want so much contact forms because they're harder to get a hold of. You, it, you have a better chance of getting the sale, getting the job booked if it's a phone call. So below the main header, then we have see what our customers have to say, and then it's some testimonials here. Make sure they're real testimonials. And then below that, we hit them with our services. Then you list out all of the services you do, all right? For your estimate appointments, fill fast, book yours today, a little sense of urgency for them to call you. You can even drop another phone number in here if you want. So you list out all of your services here. And then below that, we have a call to action, a bar call to action. So we have for immediate plumbing help call, or it could be to book your, to book your plumbing appointment today call. It could be really anything that's, you want to create urgency, all right? You want, you want someone to, you want someone to call you. So you want to create some kind of urgency in the headline. And then we come down here, about company, do authentic images about the company, a blur about the company, corporate headquarters, people like to see that stuff. And then down here, we add more pictures of job sites that have been, we've been worked on, stuff like that. Our plumbers are on standby call now. So that you're telling them we're ready to go. We can come fix your issue right now. And then you can do a little blurb about something else down here, more call to actions. And then we do a click the call button here. Now, if we look at this on mobile, I'm not sure if I actually did the mobile page yet. Oh, I did. This is what it would look like, right? So if someone's scrolling through their phone, this is what exactly what it's gonna look like. 
All right, sorry about that, guys. I had to um, pause for a minute because my dog Hank started freaking out because my kids are being crazy. All right, so this is the mobile page. This is what it would look like. Obviously, you want to center all this stuff. I didn't go through all of that, but you just come down here and center that and keep moving up here and just center all this. Have your call to action about the company. Here's your pictures and your final call to action. And this is really it. So this is not like a beautifully designed page or anything crazy, but this works. Okay. Like these simple designs work. Now you don't even have to do a pop-up contact box. You could just do one in the header here. Um, I use both. I'm not really, I don't have a preference one way or the other. I don't really care. I want phone calls mostly. So that's why it's laid out like this. I kind of want to push for them just to call. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. And this page is a 30% conversion rate page. Now that's, keep in mind guys, that's with the right keywords, the right keyword match types, the right traffic. With the right traffic, this page converts at 30%. And if you just build a generic plumbing ad, ad one ad group campaign and put a bunch of keywords in there, it's probably not going to work. All right, so if you structure a campaign properly though, this, this style landing page converts. And it's really easy to make it simple. And once you make it once for one client, you can just, keep cloning it and making it for new clients and just rolling out to their location just swap in their information and their images and you're done. So that's it. That's all I got for you today. Landing page design. Again, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Check out the links in the description. And um, I'm working on some other content for you guys coming up in the next few weeks. Uh, more in-depth stuff I can give you. Actual designs of pages that we've used and they've worked really well. So I'll be dropping those for you guys too soon. All right. Catch you guys later.